front off the goal tractor here. Well, look, we've got the tractor in a million bits at the moment. Um, we've got all the panels off, the dash panel and that ready to do the steering box videos. Um, I'm going to pull the top off the hydraulic cover and play with that, but I've got the front axle out and I'm just showing you where the pin goes in through the centre here. You can see that's the movement. And that's probably five millimetres. And being a hardened pin in a cast housing, it's normally the cast that wears. I have a brand new pin and a brand new bush for the front axle. So when we slide the new pin in, we still have that movement. So even if I try and support it down the bottom here, it's still there, you can see it. So from here, we just rattle this front housing off. I'll take it up into my little milling machine and we'll, we'll pop it up in there. And we'll open this bore out, then we'll turn something up in the lathe to press in. Then we'll machine it out to size once more and we should be able to take all of that movement out. Now what we do have to work out is the centre of the front and rear holes. Um, with the weight hanging on the back I suspect, um, I suspect if we run the circle off the bottom of the housing here, um, we'll be close. I, I believe the movement is up in the top here from the weight of the axle sitting in there. So, we're going to fit the brass bush, um, steel back brass bush, where the, I'll show you that once we get it out. The original bush is only three quarters wide, so now we're going inch and a half wide. So that supports the full axle. So stay tuned, we'll pop this front housing off and we'll have a better look once, once we can get a few better angles around. I've got a heap of rubbish around here from dropping the radiator out and all that, so I'm, um, I'm a bit cluttered, but that's all right. We'll, we'll work along with it. That's a beauty bowl, didn't it? Does that cost a quid to buy now? We put the nuts on. There's a couple of bolts around the back that we're going to have to do by hand. You can buy these front bolsters brand new, but ah, where's the fun in that? One of those bolts that's too um too tight for the ratchet too loose for your or too tight for your fingers too loose for the ratchet to work correctly. Right, same as on the other side, we have a long bolt through here. Then we have two up the top here. The ones up the top here we can get to on this side, so that's a bonus.
Not how steel should be used, but that doesn't matter to me. That's ready to lift off. I'll go around and lift it off. Okay, I'll try and film the wear for you. So we'll bring the pin in where it's supposed to go. Then that's the that's the wear. So we can actually feel a little burr here where it's pushed the housing out. So the bottom part of the housing here. So if we measure from here, here, and down here, that should give us the centre to run through. Um, on the other side, there's a bolt that holds the pin in, and there's there's a little wear there, but not so much. So if we line it up, we can set it up in the mill, and we can actually um, do a run and bore straight down both housings at once. So we know they're going to be parallel, and we can take that wear out. Now, on the main axle housing here. Yes, you can see that there's a bush there. It's quite worn and it's only like seven eighths thick, like I say. And that's a new pin in there. So, so it should be flash as a rat with a gold tooth once we get it all done. So for this part, next stop the milling machine. Right, last night I um. I didn't have the camera down here. I didn't want to go and get it because the dogs would bark and wake the whole household up. But you know, what I've done, I've had a. If I. Whoop, I'll go the other way. I'll try and zoom out a little bit. And you can just see the, the top of the boring head here. And what I did, just to get the length down to bore the wear out of this front bolster here, I used a, a lathe boring bar in the boring head just to get down far enough. Now there was a bit of flex there and I had to do a couple of spring cuts to get the sizes and um, look, we're pretty well bang on and, um, and look that, that worked okay um, we didn't film that like I say because of the um, yeah, if I went up the back and got the camera well the dogs would go nuts and the, got the grandkids here and I would have woke the whole house up so I chose not to. Now <clears throat> this bottom pin here the, the pin goes in the in from the front and this back hole is where most of the load goes and usually with this pin wobbling around a little bit um, you get a lot of wear in this back housing and so what we've done of this is a, a solid it's a hard steel bush out of the front axle on a Fergie 35 three quarters of an inch thick and these are the normal bushes that we put in on the axle pivot and they're steel backed with a brass um, I'll try and keep that in focus for you and a brass centre so so I've bored the housing out and we're going to lock tight this rear hardened steel bush in in the back here we're also going to I've only got one of these and I want to do the job this weekend so we're going to put a brass one up the front and just cut it down. That's all we have at home at the moment. And <coughs> no, I mean, I've still got the flu, but anyway, the show must go on. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're going to come in through the back here and put this bush in from this way and the other bush in from that way. And then bring the pin down here. Now another problem I've noticed and this would be helping the pin wear or the bush wear at the back here like that's a lovely fit there now and well, when we run this screw down I 
Oh, the shoulder of the bolt is against the housing there now, and we've got that much movement there. So we're going to grab this bolt, and chuck it in a collet, and we're going to measure this plate on the pin here, and we're going to reduce the shoulder on the bolt so that when the bolt comes up tight, um, it all locks up. And this one had a nut in the back here, um, which I don't know, I've never actually seen many of them with that. Not Well, most of the TE20s I've done, I haven't done all that many 35s. So, so we're going to put the nut back in. There was enough room for the nut in behind. So we're going to go with that. And, and this shoulder on the bolt here, when I get it out, Can you see? You can see the shoulder's been, it's got the corner bashed off it or knocked off it. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. So we're going to put this in a collet and we're just going to come in with a parting tool and we're just going to take that edge off there and where that corner is chamfered away, probably from the pin knocking around on it, I would think. Um, maybe not. But we're going to square this shoulder up and make it the same thickness as the pin here so, so we don't actually have any sticking out so. so you can see how much is sticking out in through here so we've got to take that off and that'll bring the pin down solid against the housing here we've got a good surface on the housing for the pin to go in tight we're going to drop that in, lock tight it in and the axle had plenty of room to have a, a bolt, a nut under the back here. Now, these are rough castings at the back here. And I noticed when I was coming down um, with the boring bar, you'd get an uneven cut at the end here because it's thinner here than down there. So I'm pretty sure that nut wouldn't have been there. But uh, I haven't had a look in the parts reference to, to check. So we're going to put the... This pin here, like I say, is going to be locked tight in a hard steel pin, and I'm not going to bore that into the housing there because bringing that pin in closer to the axle pivot has to help the whole cause. And the top one here, um, yeah, I'm going to drop a bush down and bring it in through here. And with this bolt holding it and all that, I'm sure the brass will be fine in there. Um, it's not going to move anywhere. So, anyway, follow along. We'll see what we can get up to. Right, so with the bolt here, I've got the parting tool sitting in. So I'm just going to come up and touch off with the parting tool. Just take him so it just touches under the head there. And we're going to zero the DRO out. So we zero the DRO. Now we get the pin. And we just measure the flange on the pin here. Try and get it in shot lens. Bloody hard to get good help, isn't it really? Okay, so what have we got there? Three hundred and twenty-five, thirty-five, three hundred and thirty-seven thou. I'll just check that over here again so I can get a better feel. Yep, three hundred and thirty-seven thou. So with the DRO, we just bring her over 337 there. 331, 32, 33, 34. 337 is right there. Okay, we'll crank her up and see what we got.
simple as that. So if we pop that out. Oh, excuse my arm there. And we check it through here. Very close. So that should hold the pin tight. You've got a bit of side movement, that's fine. So that should hold the pin tight and stop that jiggling around in the housing, which um, could well be why it wore so much because that pin wasn't wasn't held rigid. So okay, we'll change chucks and we'll shorten the front bush. Okay, this bush is going to stay where it is. I'm not going to drop the shoulder like I said, but to machine one of these bushes down to the thickness of the of this here. We'll just have to measure this and we're sitting on oh, 775 there roughly. So we might go to 800 there and that'll give us a, a little bit of extra body. Yeah, see 800. It's 805 at the back and about 780 at the front, so um, so we'll, we'll make the bush the full width of the bottom here and it'll stick out a little bit here, and, but that's fine. Um, we'll go with that and I'm going to machine the shoulder off here and we're going to lock tight, lock tight it in. Um, I probably wouldn't mind that a little bit tighter than it is, but not to worry, that lock tight bit of 680 that won't move in a fit so we'll we'll put this bush up in the lathe and we'll machine him down and yeah see what we get. Right, I'll just bring you down a little bit there and I'll just set the bush loosely in the chuck so I'm going to use my little ball bearing tool I made years ago <laughs> should be true enough for what we're doing at this stage. Now we'll just nip him up. Pop that out of the way. Now my trusty parting tool. Where'd it go? Here it is. Okay, now I want to clean that up. Now, the tip on my parting tool. What do we have there? We have 125 there, so yep, yeah, one eight. So what the plan is, is bring this right in up the back. Kelly dog's scratching on the door because she wants to go out. So just bring that up till it's just touching. Zero in the DRO once more. Bring him out. 800 there which is what we wanted, plus 125 because we're going from this side of the cutting edge to the other so that should be okay to go there, now we'll just check for clearance yep we do have clearance can't really see that very well can you? I'll try and... There you go, new position. Alright, we'll just start him up.
so that should be pretty damn close to 800 there. Now I'll just deburr that first. close enough I believe and pop him out one way to warm your hands up good frost here this morning two thou under that's fine won't matter for what we're doing so so yeah, that bush, we'll go over to the lathe once more, or to the mill I mean. It's got a nice lead in there. And we'll sit it in the housing, see what it looks like. Well there you go, there's the bush in the housing. Now the pin, what did I do with the pin? Here we go. Stop looking, I found it. Wind the mill head up out of the way a bit. So with that there, then that bolt now should, to use an American term, snug up. We don't say snug up over here. We just say it'd be a bloody good fit. that's moving anywhere so we have another bush here um, what I'm going to do with this bush um, we have another bush here what I'm going to do with this bush is um, actually in the bottom of the pin here there's an oil hole and what the idea was back years ago you put your oil gun in here and you give it a squirt and the oil oiled the hole here but um, I think what I'll do I'll just run a grease I'll keep it in focus there I'll just um, run a grease run around there and then I'll because it's for road runs and it won't we won't have dirt chopping the bush out um, I'm going to put a grease nipple in here in the axle and just make it greasable so we can pop a bit of nice clean grease in all the time so stay tuned right I'm having trouble in my little container here I haven't done me brackets for my cameras yet so I'm having trouble um, getting it all right. Okay, look, we got an inch and a half bush here, so um, I'm just touching off on the front there with the little boring bar. We'll zero her out. We'll run up about three quarters of an inch, somewhere around the middle, where it just doesn't matter. Hell for a second. You can see in there where the where the grease run is through there. So once we get it in the axle, we'll drill down into that. We'll just measure it and we'll just drill straight through and and pop a grease nipple in so we can grease it when we're out and about driving around. 